we just hit winter solstice. So if you live where it's winter, it's like we're in the thick of it right now. And I always like to talk about seasonal affective disorder or just even, you know, it's some, it's kind of a spectrum, the winter blues. If you're feeling off, if you start to feel kind of off as it gets deeper into winter, this message is for you. Just a few reminders. The first thing is like, if you live like here in Utah, it's a, I don't know, like 21 degrees outside, right? I'm probably not going to be out sunbathing. I've noticed I'm very sensitive to this. If you have low vitamin D levels, if you're low below the threshold, which I like to see over 50 on vitamin D levels, if you know that about yourself, you better be supplementing vitamin D right now. I actually personally, I know this is controversial. I, it's not to me, I'm very clear on it, but I actually go Planet Fitness. Some of the Planet Fitness locations have tanning beds that mimic the natural UV spectrum of sunlight. And I do that like maybe once a week, maybe a little bit less, but I go in there to get like my supercharge of light spectrums, right? And so it scans your skin so that you don't get burnt, which is like kind of the biggest risk factor. I do that in the winter here in Utah. It massively impacts my mood, massively. And it also impacts metabolism and all other, a bunch of other things. So if you live somewhere where you can't get sunlight in the winter and you're starting to feel off, do something, get one of those lights right? I actually like the ones with some UV in it. Um, but they also have happy lights, but I, I think that you need some of those UV spectrums. So that's one thing is like sunlight, check your vitamin D levels if you're starting to feel off because what happens this time of year? We lose people. We do. And I know some of y'all feeling off. I know, I know it. And everyone's just trying to like get grit, you know, get through it with grit. But like there's things you can do to feel better in light Vitamin D is a huge part of that, especially if you live somewhere where it's really cold and dark and gloomy. Second thing is sleep. Let yourself freaking sleep. Prioritize that like crazy. No matter what time of year it is or what season it is where you live in the world, if you are starting to feel off and your body is like tired and run down, let yourself freaking sleep and work on, I know it can be hard when you're feeling anxious and you know, all that stuff, but like if you can work on going to sleep earlier, letting go, releasing stressful thoughts, let them fly away, deep breaths. Like if melatonin works for you, magnesium, take that for you go to bed. Get more sleep if you're starting to feel off. Another thing is B vitamins I have found can be really helpful with seasonal affective disorder. So especially if you know if you happen to be low on those or have genetic risk factors with any of those, but methylated B vitamins uh, help with energy, mood, metabolism, all of that. So I recommend those as well. And the last Oh no, two more. One is like exercise because when you exercise, even if you, if all you can get yourself to do is walk, do it. But exercise, especially if you can do a little more than that, helps you release all the neurochemicals that help you regulate your emotions. Do we understand that? It doesn't make us not feel our emotions. It helps us more easily regulate our emotions when we're releasing dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, those neurochemicals, the serotonin boost, you get a GABA boost, all the, all of the neurochemicals that help you regulate your emotions. So like something slams you and you're like, that's okay. Like that, you're like, I, you can manage it better. That all come, exercise is one of the most powerful things you can do for that. Not to mention we had Don Moxley, I don't know if he's still on here, but the anandamide release, you activate your endocannabinoid system, which is like all of those feel good <laughs> uh, neurochem neurochemical states come from exercise. So don't forget to do that, okay? Make it happen for yourself. And the last one is like this time of year, every, it's lots of sugary treats and all of these things. I'm not saying don't eat them, but I am saying be aware that when you eat things that are really high in sugars, high fructose corn syrup and sugar, you block the enzyme in your gut that helps you con con uh, convert glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter, which when that gets in an abundance, you start feeling really anxious, worried about everything, racing thoughts, like just kind of this anxiety state. And when you eat, the more sugar you eat, the more you block that enzyme. And some people are more predisposed to this to others that helps the glutamate turn into GABA, which makes you feel cool, calm, collected, like, uh, like I got this energy. So just notice that, especially if you're somebody who is like already predisposed to feeling anxious a lot. When you eat sugar, you are literally eating anxiety. Just know that it's not in a shameful way. Just know what's happening. Just, and then choose accordingly. It's like, do I want to feel like that after this? Is that really worth it to me? 
because maybe I can eat something else that like isn't gonna freaking wreck me tomorrow you know so I would say if you're starting to feel off vitamin D some sort of sunlight a happy light a UV light um, a tanning bed like the ones that mimic the natural rays of the sunshine something like that at least vitamin D3 with K2 supplementation um, getting more sleep god damn does that not solve everything it doesn't solve everything, but it helps so much. Get more sleep. It will help your immune system too. Your brain cleanses at night. Like so much can be resolved by getting good, more sleep. Make sure your room is cold at night. That helps a lot. A cold room with like a warm blanket really helps with sleep quality, sleep duration. If you got a pet or something that's waking you up, have freaking boundaries. Walk it downstairs. <laughs> Serious. It will live. Like let yourself get good sleep. Have boundaries around sleep. Go to bed earlier. Don't shame yourself for sleeping. Like everybody can effing wait. You need sleep. B vitamins, nutri nutrient dense food. <sighs> Avoid sugars as much as you possibly can, just in terms of how you feel emotionally. And then exercise. Make sure you get that in every day. People are like, how often should I exercise? I'm like, every freaking day. Are you serious? Are you gonna sit there like a lump some days? I mean, if you're sick or something, sure, you know, like, but like at least walk. And like get moving like not a mosey walk like a, a use your use my muscles walk like go get it <laughs> and if you can hit it a little higher than that hit it a little higher than that and you, you know everybody knows how it freaking feels after you get done with a workout and you're like oh wow I'm in a good mood that's uh, available to you every single day <laughs> so really helps with mood regulation so just want to throw that out there because I know dude I know there's people out there that are not feeling good right now, okay? And like those are the big, big things. You're not, you're not um, helpless. You can do stuff about how you're feeling, and those are the big things. Everything I just said, really big things. Which beds are, are the ones at Planet Fitness you're talking about? I can't remember. It's called like Sun something. Just it, and it's only at some of the Planet Fitness, like the nicer ones. Some of them have like old crappy beds. But, like, you could probably call your local Planet of Fitness and be like, do you have some tanning bed that scans your skin first so it doesn't burn you? That's the one. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember what it's called. There's only, like, two locations in my area that have that. So, just call ahead and see. But, yeah, I highly recommend, you know, because <laughs> it's just not feasible. It's like, cool, cool, yeah, I'd love to go to Florida once a week, but I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> so, how do I manage this in my everyday life? Vitamin D, sleep, exercise, and no sugar. Yeah, thank you for summing it up. Okay, I'm gonna go work out now. Get my uh, antidepressant, mood boost, creativity boost, connection to the universe. That's, that's what exercising feels like to me. <laughs> All right, bye guys.